Hi Beto people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So today what I'm going to show you is some like DIY crafts that you can make if you have an old Beatles calendar or a bunch of old Beatles calendars that you're not sure what to do with. Um, so I personally have been getting Beatles calendars for about 10 years every Christmas so I have accumulated quite a lot. Um, they were for a while just sitting in my drawer until I figured out things that I could do with them. As you can see this calendar is pretty cut up from all the things I've made with it um, and, and with the other ones I have as well. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with my graduation cap. I graduated college last year and I knew I wanted to have a Beatles related cap to wear so here's that. <coughs> Excuse me. I took this picture from an old calendar, um, just cut it right up in the middle of the page, and then with the, some other items that I bought at the dollar store, I was able to personalize it. So these graduation stickers, um, or graduation cap stickers, I bought and I decided to put them on the Beatles to give them their own graduation caps. And then I bought these sparkly letters as well. It says, it's been a fab four years. I thought very hard about the phrase that I wanted to put on it. Um, and on the bottom, my graduation year and my school's initials, Brooks University. Um, and then these jewels around the outside. A lot of my professors like this cap. I heard I heard one say, um, I knew she was going to do something Beatles. And lo and behold, yes I did. <laughs> if By the way, if you are graduating soon and you want to use this phrase, please feel free. I don't, I don't care. I won't say that you stole it or anything. <laughs> so, there you go. Next, I want to show you kind of the main uh, creation that I made with my calendar. So this is a, oopsies, <laughs> this is a decoupage box that I made. Um, obviously using cutout pictures from all the calendars on every side. This is definitely a nice centerpiece to my dresser over there. And um, inside I also decorated the lid. And inside the box, I keep all of my Beatles jewelry and accessories as well. I did um, make a blog post showing all of this stuff, but if you want to see it in video form, do let me know because I know sometimes it could just be more fun to watch a video than read a blog. So let me know if you want to see that and I will gladly make that. Now something that accompanies that box is just this little jar. Um, I took very simply um, just a strip from one of the pages on the calendar and wrapped it around. And here I just simply store my chapsticks. Um, but it's just nice to have something to complement the box and to go with the overall theme of my room, <laughs> of course. What I want to show next is these pins that I made. Um, I, I did um, make these myself using something that I found at a flea market, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Oh, I tend to wear these on my jacket or on my shirt, just as a nice little accessory. So what I used to make them is this. This is the Badge Factory. I found this at a flea market um, several years ago. I think this is something that came out in like the early 2000s or something of that nature. Um, this isn't like the most high quality thing you could be using to make um, a pin or a badge, um, but for my purposes it works just fine. I'm not selling the badges or anything. They're just for me to wear and to use, so that's perfectly fine by me. So I'm going to show you um, inside. Now this is the actual contraption that you would use to make the pin or the badge. I keep saying like three different words, pin, badge, button, <laughs> etc. But um, tray number one is where you would put in the back, the metal backing and the plastic film over the picture that you would cut out and then you push it in twist this down all the way and all the way back up and then on the other side um, you put in the front to the middle front and um, push it in twist it up and down the exact same way and you have your pin 
So inside here, there's this circle thing that you use to cut out the picture that you want. Um, obviously this inner circle is going to be showing you exactly what you're going to see in the um, on the pin, the front of the pin. And these outer uh, lines here are what you would trace to cut out um, to make sure that your picture reaches around the entire um, pin. And then um, I, let's see, it has the backs with the actual safety pin on it, which is what you put on at the very end. Um, and then it has your box of um, actually extras of your little equipment or whatever you would call it. Um, you can see the plastic films, the backs, and the metal parts. Oops, that. Now, mentioning that I wanted to, or that I like to wear those pins on my jacket, I thought this would be a nice segue to show my jacket. So this is kind of, well not kind of, it is also a DIY type of thing, even though it doesn't have anything to do with calendars, but I wanted to include it anyway. Um, so I guess we'll show the back first. Now these are a variety of patches that I got. Um, some of them are from eBay, some of them are from Paul's website, and some of them are actually from Target when they had that briefly that line of Beatles merchandise on um, the collaboration with the brand Junk Food. Um, here's that. I know that one in the middle is not focusing because of the sunlight right now, but there we are. There's that. Uh, this one, the Freshen Up Tour, and this one, and the Wings one on the bottom, um, and the Ram one right there, and the other Freshen Up are all the ones from Paul's site. These two on the top are from Target. And then on the front, uh, this, these here, if I could rotate them the correct direction, are Paul's Egypt Station pins that he had on his website. Um, my apologies that this is very bright here. You can't quite see these very well, but there. Um, he had these on his website as kind of a limited edition release, um, and I, of course, ordered them. They took quite a long time to get here. I think almost three months <coughs> to get here. Um, but that's fine because they did get here, and I do love them, so that's perfectly fine by me. This badge, or badge, sorry, patch, is from, also from Target. Um, with the junk food collaboration as well. Let's see if I forgot anything. These pins here um, are ones that I've had for a long time. I believe I got them for Christmas in kind of a set. And then this one on the side is also from Target. I plan to wear this hopefully the next time I see Paul in concert, whenever that may be. Um, he hasn't announced any dates near me yet, but I'm hoping he'll announce something maybe like for August or September or October even and it'll be um, a little bit chilly possibly so I can wear this um, obviously if it was hot outside I wouldn't wear this but I definitely think this would be a nice compliment to my whatever I wear obviously Paul sure that I'll be wearing but yes so Thank you very much for watching, Beetle People. That is all I have to show you for today. So thank you uh, for watching. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you want, check out my blog, abeetlefullife.com. Follow me on Instagram at abeetlefulllife as well. And um, I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.